Caught on video, two women trying to stuff wigs in their pants and purses at an East Memphis beauty supply shop. The owner of Chick Beauty in Poplar Plaza says he tried to give them a free pass, but the women refused to hand over the hair. Instead, they pushed and bit him. WREG's Jessica Gertler says it was all for $700 worth of hair. Within seconds of picking up a wig, you can see Blair Crooms hunched over in the back of Chic Beauty Supply Store. Her friend Sarah Metcalf stood next to her. The two apparently jammed wigs in their purse and pants. Moments later, the shop owner confronted them, and things got chaotic. The owner, who didn't want to go on camera, says he wouldn't let them leave until police got there. So the women grabbed him, pushed him, even bit him. Yeah, those are bite marks on his hand. It's crazy. When you initially think about it, like, you want to go to jail for hair? Customers like T.C. Holmes say hair can get pricey. Human hair can sell up to $140 a box. If you want a good quality, you're going to pay pretty good penny for it. That's why it's become a hot item on the streets. We're told women are buying it at a fraction of the cost. We went to a half dozen beauty supply shops across the city. Employees we talked to admit hair gets stolen regularly. A few weeks ago, the owner of Beauty and Beyond in Fraser told us two of his shops were hit. The crooks took $18,000 worth of weaves. We asked Memphis Police Director Tony Armstrong if it's a growing trend. But he didn't want to talk about it. As for shop owners, they tell us they're amping up security, making sure they don't become victims in the next hair heist. And that was Jessica Gertler reporting the two women are charged with assault to bodily harm and theft under $500. According to court records, Groom's case was settled today. She was found guilty. Metcalf got an attorney and goes to court January 26th.